Mark, as you go through this, and there's a ton to digest, what did you find particularly damning? Well, probably, Scott, back in 2013, a Baylor volleyball coach told her coach that she'd been gang raped by five football players back in early 2012. Uh, when the volleyball coach approached Bryles about that allegation, he reportedly said, those are some bad dudes. Why was she hanging around with them? Nothing was done. No one outside of the athletic department was told about those allegations. And then back in 2011, Tevin Elliott, a defensive lineman at Baylor, uh, was charged with plagiarism for the second time, which should have led to his suspension for the 2011 season. But Bryles personally went to Ken Starr, the Baylor president, on Elliott's behalf and appealed. And even though the deadline had passed for that appeal, Starr granted Elliott the appeal. And then the following spring, Elliott was charged with, with raping uh, Baylor student Jasmine Hernandez, was convicted in 2014. And, and basically in this university response filed today, the university said since Baylor wasn't strict on its punishment for football players, it led to Elliott still being enrolled at Baylor when that assault occurred. Mark, what do you think this means for Baylor moving forward? I don't know, Scott. You know, they, they went to the NCAA back in May when the Pepper Hamilton report uh, was released. Uh, they said they would be cooperative with any sort of NCAA investigation. We know they've appeared in front of the Big 12 uh, Executive Council a couple of times. We have been told that the McLennan County District Attorney's Office was looking at whether or not any Baylor employees, including coaches, could face criminal charges for covering up these allegations or uh, getting victims to not go forward to law enforcement authorities. So I think based on what we've seen today, I think that might indeed be a possibility now. But, you know, I, I think it's just, it's just so hard to tell. This story's nearly a year old, and it just seems like something else comes up every single day. And Baylor's no stranger to scandal, and you, you, I hesitate to use the word never as it relates to Art Bryles coaching because you consider Dave Bliss, their basketball coach, has, has found work again coaching. But in the short term, and maybe in, in, in the next whatever decade, I don't know, what do you think it means for Art Bryles? I'd be surprised if he ever coaches again. I mean, you know, when he was fired back in May, there was a very vocal uh, segment of the Baylor fan base that, that thought he was a scapegoat and they wanted transparency and they called for transparency and they got transparency today and it's not very pretty. So he wasn't able to get a job this past coaching cycle. Uh, you know, I think Liberty University, which hired uh, former Baylor Athletics Director Ian McCall, is going to have to take a look at that situation. McCall was named in some of these text messages as well. Uh, so certainly uh, I think Art Bryles is going to face an uphill battle in, in finding a job in, in college football, if not football altogether.